today's class, we're going to be studying Muso Jika De Nation Du Iajitsu. Okay? Now, um, to, before we begin, I actually want to start and talk a little bit about the history of the Iajitsu, the history of our particular school, Eshin Vu, uh, because I think it's very important. Okay? Um, now, what I'm going to do to start talking about the history is I'm going to actually read uh, from the book. Uh, it's just a page, and it kind of goes over a brief history of the school. I'm just going to read that to you first, and then I'm going to give you guys a little bit more insight than what's just written in the book, okay? Um, but uh, out of our seven traditions, uh, one of our schools is Muso Jikiden Eishin Vyu Iaijitsu. Now, Eishin Vyu Iaijitsu is a very popular form of classical swordsmanship in the, in, in the world. There are many different branches of Eishin Vyu. So what you will see, if you Google it or watch certain videos, you'll see there are many different branches. Um, all of them have basically the same names. Uh, that's that's the same across the board. But they all have slight variations to this kata, slight variations to that kata, so on and so forth, depending on the branch that you're with. Okay. But nonetheless, Asian Jiu-Jitsu is a very, very uh, popular um, form of kōru, which means classical uh, samurai swordsmanship. Okay. Now, um, so let's. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm just going to read you guys a little bit of the history first. The founder of Musa Jikiden Nation Du Iaijitsu was Hayashizaki Jinsuke. He was born in the Dao Prefecture and uh, he lived 1546 to 1621 in what is present day Kanagawa. Many of the historical details of Hayashizaki's life are suspect, since, like most famous samurai in Japan, his story was widely fictionized. It seems that he grew up during a time of constant warfare in Japan and was exposed to various sword fighting methods from an early age. According to legend, Hayashizaki's father was a samurai and was killed in a sword duel. The young Hayashizaki witnessed his father's death and vowed to take revenge. It is said he went to Hayashizaki's Meijin shrine to pray for guidance and received divine enlightenment for a new method of swordsmanship to kill in one movement. With this enlightenment, legend says that he found his father's killer, challenged him to a duel, and defeated his father's killer with this new method called Iaijutsu. Following this, Hayashizaki continued his Muso Shugyo training with renewed swordsmen and attracting students of his own. Hayashizaki established his own style of swordsmanship, calling it Shin Mei Muso Ryu. Hayashizaki's art had many names during the Sengoku Jidera. Uh, so, so during the Sengoku Jidera, the art took many names, I guess is what we're trying to say here. So basically it went as, uh, it was also known as Hayashizaki Ryu and Jin uh, Jushin Ryu. As the generations continued, the name Muso, Ju Muso Jikiden Eishin Vyu uh, became the name that stuck to this style of swordsmanship. So in its original form, for the first, basically the first seven, and I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to jump ahead of the story here, but basically the founder, Hayashizaki, its original known name of school was called Hayashizaki Ru. Then you get to the seventh Grandmaster, and it changes its name to Eshin Vyu. Right, because the the, the, the Soke's name was as Eshin, right, uh, and they just and, it, and we're going to get into the meaning of that in a second. But then when we get to this uh, um, the seventeenth Soke, I believe the seventeenth Soke Masamichi, it's definitely Masamichi is the man that did it. He renamed the school to Muso Jikiden Eshin Ryu Iaijutsu, meaning Muso Jikiden means purely direct, true faith. It's the true system, the true way of training. Okay, but we'll get into that. So. The seventh Soke of Hayashizaki's school, Hasegawa Eshin, was one of its most important headmasters. He had a major influence on the school. In particular, he adapted techniques originally developed for the Tachi to use the contemporary katana. So, previous to the seventh Soke, the Tachi, which we're going to talk about the different types of swords here in a minute, but the Tachi was the predecessor of the katana. It was a, lo it was a longer sword. So the first seven generations of Hayashizaki Ru was actually meant for the Tachi. Then the seventh, uh, the seventh Soke, right, Hasegawa Eshin, he changed it to fit the movements to fit what we see now as the katana. So now Hayashizaki Ru, although that uh, Hasegawa Eshin was the Soke, the name took a different change and when it started becoming called Eshin Ryu, okay, during that time period. Some people called it Hasegawa Eshinru, some people just called it Eshinryu. Some regard Hasegawa as the primary founder of Eshinru, which makes him the first generation Soke rather than the seventh. But the people who kind of, there's again, when you're looking at history and who did what and what time did they did it and 
What is your take on it? Some schools like to say they're the best and they were the first one. Other schools say, say they're the best, they're the first one. What is known is uh, Hayashizaki Ryu was the first one, the first school to do Iaijutsu. Let's forget the type of sword. And the seventh Soke in line is the one that developed Eshin Ryu. So we, what we're doing is still in the same direct line. People can bitch about, you know, what branch and all that kind of stuff all they want, but the reality of it is it's still passed down, okay? The ninth generation Soke was Hayashi uh, Morimasa. Hayashi introduced a set of techniques uh, ex executed from a formal seated position called Seiza. These techniques are thought to have been developed by Hayashi's Kenjutsu teacher, the Shinkage Ryu swordsman Omori, and are said to be influenced by Osagawa Ryu etiquette, hence starting from Seiza. They were taught alongside Eshin Ryu as Omori Ryu. Hayashi uh, was also responsible for introducing the Eshin Ryu to the Tosa domain, which came to be referred as Tosa Eshin Ryu. Eshin Ryu and Amori Ryu were also taught to the Yamauchi family, with a few unique characteristics such as exaggerating leg movements when wearing long hakama. After the date of the 11th headmaster, the school split into two branches. These branches later became known as the Tanamura-ha and the shin mo -mura ha after its respective 15th and 14th Grand Masters. One of the most important soke was the 17th soke of Eshin Ryu, Masamichi. Masamichi was born in Tosa in 1852. In his youth, he studied Kokori Ryu and Shinkage Ryu Kenjutsu, along with Shimomura-ha Eshin Ryu. At the age of 15, he took part in the Battle of Toba Fushimi. Masamichi inherited leadership of the Tanamura Ha, becoming 17th Soke. He combined the school's teachings with those of the Shin Momura Ha and, re and restructured its curriculum. Masamichi reduced the number of waza from around 160 and reorganized them into Seiza, Shodin, Tachihiza, Chuden, o Okuai, which is Okuden, and the Kumitachi Waza set practice today. Although he retained the original techniques, he changed the names of some of the waza to aid the understanding of the time that he lived. Masamichi uh, named the reorganized school Muso Jikiden Eishin Ryu, meaning Peerless Direct True Faith Style in 1900, and began teaching Kendo and Eishin Ryu at the Kochi branch of the Dai Nippon Botukukai. Masamichi died in 1927, and many of his students went on to spread Muso Jikiden Eishin Ryu Iaijutsu beyond Tosa and throughout Japan and the world. So that gives us, uh, give you a big update of what it is that we're going to be studying today, right? So we wanted to start, I wanted to start with that because when you know where the techniques that we're, we're doing, you know where they're coming from, right? Then you understand, you, you get a closer, you get a closer sense of history, a closer sense of tradition, a closer sense of what it is that we're doing and why we need to carry on tradition, why we need to do those things, okay? Now, I do want to talk about the history of the Nihon Po real quick because that is also something that's very important when you're studying the agency.